The name Kifaru means rhino in Swahili, and the conservation of these critically endangered animals is at the heart of this place. This day is one of the most unique we have ever had. Over the course of three days, we had breakfast with rhinos, sundowners with rhinos, and came within touching distance of a mother and calf whilst on foot, all while staying in some of the most luxurious accommodation we've experienced to date. So we've just driven into the entrance of Camp Kifaru and we have been greeted by two huge white rhinos. It's a pretty good welcome. Hello, so after a very long day self-driving in Atosha, we have come to our final stay at Kifaru Luxury Lodge. It's about an hour south of Atosha National Park and this place is one of the largest breeding places for rhinos in all of Africa. It's in a really remote, kind of hidden location. We are here for three nights. We've got one night in what they call their bush camp. It's not camping. We are in actual buildings, not tents. And it's lovely. We've got this kind of huge barn, I suppose. And we've got a swimming pool. There's a watering hole that's all lit up that we're looking at. And then in the morning, we're going to be going off and doing some rhino trekking. And then we're going to move to, they've got two luxury lodges believe there's two we're going to move there tomorrow to one of those stay there for two nights we've got a few more cool activities coming up which we will show you soon to try and find some rhinos. What's that? Safari guide at Kifaru Luxury Lodge. Quickly want to tell you a bit about what we do here. So Kifaru is your gateway to the Rhino Mama project. The Rhino Mama project is all about the conservation of white and black rhinos in Namibia and our main goal is to repopulate Namibia and the rest of Africa with white and black rhinos. Uh, so we are really renowned. We are really lucky to say that we have the biggest conservation project in the whole of Namibia. We've been taking care of these rhinos for 13 years now and um, since we have just grown I would really like to tell you about how you can support us or how you can um, assist us so if you like to do some volunteering work if you want to assist with our program working on hand with the rhinos and getting an awesome experience uh, you're more of welcome to go look at uh, all the volunteers um, just go look up our rhino mama project and you're more than welcome to come and help with uh, working with the rhinos uh, another thing if you want to see this experience firsthand and enjoy and have the time of your life you can make sure to go visit Kifaru Luxury Lodge as well. Good morning so we are back from an epic morning with the rhinos we went on a rhino trekking tour and we didn't do too much trekking because we kept bumping into the rhinos so we would set off to an area where we were then gonna kind of walk 5k and the rhinos just kept being it and there was one time where there was a massive white rhino with a calf and they came so so close and yeah it was getting to like the prime moment and then Liv got the phone out to do a video and dropped the phone and the rhinos were terrified and absolutely legged it away so a real real shame but comedy gold So guys, gonna give you a quick tour here at Kifaru Bush Camp. So we just look over here. This is the main building. This is where you're gonna have your food, drinks, etc. And then about 100 meters up the hill, we have the accommodation, which we'll show you a bit later. And then if we go this way, this is the game vehicle that you'll go out with, which is pretty cool. And then we have the swimming pool and everything is right in the bush. So the animals can come here, particularly to the watering hole. 
it's actually rainy season at the moment so we had rain last night so the animals don't really need to come to the water in Hull. So fingers crossed we get a glimpse of something today. So this is where we've had dinner the last, well, last night and the breakfast this morning. And this is the bar and lounge area. They get a lot of big like tour groups would come here. So this is a pretty epic space to hang out with your mates, enjoy the pool, see the animals come to the pool and to the water in Hull. So it's really cool. We've stayed in quite a few like campsites whilst we've been travelling in Africa and this, I would say, is the most luxurious and the nicest in terms of bush camps that we have seen. And everything is pretty brand new, so it's pretty awesome. This is the accommodation at the Kifaru Lodge bush camp. You've got two blocks of six little apartments behind Liv, which I'll show you in a sec. We've also got some ground for camping and shared toilets, but each of the rooms comes with a double bed and um, ensuite. So let's go show you ours. We are in room number five. So the lodge has been open for three years, but everything here feels brand new, which is great. Here we are, everything you need. Nice double bed, uh, no aircon, this comes with a fan. We are here in the middle of summer. Stayed here last night and it was super cool, so that's great. We've got some like, protection, there's a mountain behind us, so there's a lot of shade. And then storage space, and through here, the sliding door, toilet shower. Come down to the pool for the afternoon. You can see Liv behind me looking over the watering hole. We just had a family of warthogs or pumbas come and then I went, oh wow, and they all ran away. So, epic fail, hopefully they come back, but we shall see. We're getting a pretty special sunset. This is the view from the balcony. Hello Liv, she just had a little bath, sun's setting that way. Okay so tonight we've gone against our better judgement and we have gone for the Oryx. We haven't yet tried it in Namibia but it is a speciality here and we've told, been told that it is the best dish on the menu so we have gone for it. I'll let you know how it is. Good morning guys. So this morning we are doing something so exciting. I don't know if I've ever been this excited to do something before. We are going to have our breakfast with the rhinos. It's what's called here as a unicorn breakfast. Just, I'm so excited, I can't wait. The majority of the revenue generated by Kafaru goes directly towards Rhino Mama, which is a non-profit organisation dedicated to the conservation and expanding the white rhino population in Namibia. So we've just finished a delicious breakfast and if the food wasn't good enough then the view was just next level bucket list moment. This is one of the only places that you can actually do this. It's such a unique experience and we've just had the morning of our lives, I think, and we're gonna remember this for a really long time. This place is epic. Just wait until we show you our bathroom. So let's go inside. Wow, wow, wow. This room is amazing. So we've got an amazing bed, huge, super comfy, dresser, fridge, all that good stuff. We've got two chairs here which overlook this incredible view. Let's have a look. Absolutely stunning views of the reserve here. 
We're really hoping we're gonna see some cool animals whilst we're here. And now I'm gonna show you the bathroom, which is definitely the main event of this room. How amazing is this? Same amazing views as we have a bar. Can't wait to try this out later. Two sinks, toilet, inside shower, and also an outside shower which again has these amazing views. And this is it. Everything is spick and span, super clean, super modern. All the fixtures are just gorgeous, like the lights and everything. It's all just chef's kiss. So I'm now gonna take you through to the reception and dining area at Kafaru. So here it is in this incredible building. The architecture is absolutely insane, absolutely love these light pictures and there's just so much glass everywhere because the main event is absolutely that view right there. We have a bar over to the right and also walk out onto the pool which overlooks the watering hole which the animals come to which is amazing. And I mean I don't need to say much, the view speaks for itself. Let's see if anything's at the watering hole right now. Nothing in there at the moment, but we have seen quite a few animals there yesterday. Just look at this building, it is absolutely gorgeous. We sat out here last night and we had dinner, and later this afternoon, as it's lovely and sunny, we're definitely going to take full advantage of being here and have a relax in the pool. Ooh. Fresh. afternoon around the pool we are now going to go out on a sundown a game drive hopefully see some rhinos it's going to be our last activity at Kifaru so fingers crossed we see a low ball as if we haven't seen enough already we can't get enough for a sundown or set up. Having a good time? It's <laughs> <laughs> a good day as any to start the rebuilding of life. Oh, whoa! When the old one's gone under the knife and I can Time has come to leave Kifaru Luxury Lodge and Bush Camp. It has been oh, one of the highlights of our entire trip to Africa. It's been so special here. The food, the people, the experiences. Yeah, once in a lifetime kind of stuff. Yeah, cannot express that anymore. There is no rhino experience like what we've had here that we've come across has been. I mean, we've had drinks with rhinos, we've had breakfast near the rhinos. It's just been amazing. The lodges are incredible, the people are amazing, it's just all awesome. So if you are coming to Namibia, I cannot recommend this place enough to come here. We've just driven in. We've just driven into the entrance of Kifaru Safari Lodge. There you go. Okay, let me in. So, so, oh, <laughs> so <you> leave. <laughs> 